Hello and welcome to another week with Mary's Dream Time messages. I hope you had a wonderful week last week. And um, with the two animals that we pulled, that was with Golden Camel. I am trusting. And the other one that we pulled out was with the red kangaroo, I am letting go. They were pretty strong and uh, strong cards, um, giving us some really, you know, useful messages. So did you find you had a week where you were being tested last week? I know I definitely did and I'm so glad with we're starting a brand new week and um, you know it's a really good time for letting go which is what the kangaroo was telling us all about and you know being able to have that chance to um, get yourself out of any situations which are kind of you know maybe disempowering you which is you know what the kangaroo was um, all about and moving forward without any doubt or fear. So the week is going to be starting the 29th of November and running until the 5th of December. So it's going to be the first week of December. So the countdown is on and we're going to be doing the Christmas countdown every day until Christmas now. So um, keep an eye out on that on my Facebook page and always welcome to share wherever, you know, you, you feel people may love and your friends and family. Also, um, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep up to date to all the latest videos and especially if you brought your card deck. Um, if you want to be notified, just hit the bell on the video. Um, I think it's down the bottom there somewhere. So the week is going to be starting, as I mentioned, the 29th of November to the 5th of December. So um, if you've got your card deck, it comes in a box and you've got your 33 glossy cards and your 85-page um, booklet with the famous white cockatoos on the back and all the Australian animals on the front. So let's see the two animals that are going to be guiding us this week. Um, you know, we're at now the busiest time of the year. So I hope you've been able to get all your get organised with Christmas. You know, it's um, you know going to be you know a different Christmas this this year, as you know, a lot of us have come out of lockdown and you know we're preparing to spend some time with friends or family. Or maybe you know you're needing to, you're having to wait a bit longer so that's all right too it's, you know there's always people you can reach out to online or you know get on the phone and give them a call to you know share some um, lovely messages with so let's see the two cards we're going to be two animals that were coming out this week and the first one that we drew was with um, Dolph and I am aware, giving us the message, when I understand my deep connection to nature, I allow myself to open up and merge with the healing force, life force of creation. So like within nature, there's like an invisible force that we can't see, but you know, it can be felt through one of the senses. So um, if you got your card deck, then you would have received your bonus video by now. If not, just send through a message, uh, email to me, um, and um, or through one of the social media channels, and I can send you through the link to the bonus video. So the bonus video goes into so much information and detail, and so I'm only realizing this now. So if you felt a little bit overwhelmed by the video, so don't worry about that too much um, because you know I've been thinking um, of going into the video in different sections and um, so then that can kind of make it a bit easier but um, the um, 
dolphin that we got and there's going to be some more bonus videos coming up so stay tuned for those as well um, the dolphin um, that we got this week is letting us know just to be more aware when we're in our environment and um, as it's reminding us about our connection to the life force energy of the universe which is the connection between earth and sky um, so you are learning a lot about the movements and the cycles within nature so have trust and faith in this powerful connection that you have you know you're not you know really needing to know too much about it like as you continue to learn more and more because you know it's not only about what you learn with your mind but also through your senses and your physical experience um, there's many patterns and intricacies within nature that you are yet to find and understand and so allow your heart to be open to learning more about this and sometimes also it also may again may go against what you've actually previously learned so let's try to remember also that you cannot um, transform or ch or change um, your way of life with the previous patterns that were playing out so you know it's why it's important to remember to learn new things and be be more open to the um, teachings that come your way especially if if it's to do with something that you're very interested in like nature um, you know books and topics and workshops um, you know these are different ways that you can learn about nature and the universe to have a better understanding but also you know as mentioned before our physical experiences and our senses you know pick up the most information and um, you know you, most of the time you won't read about or learn about it so you know this is kind of like a learning that's unique and to do with you on an individual level so um, yeah this understanding and healing force of creation is a powerful energy and you will benefit greatly from now and into the future so the negative you could be feeling hurt or blocking of a spiritual path or you may be even feeling destructive so the positive to do with dolphin is that there's the heart of creation that you're being able to sense in some way or another through your physical experience and there's the feeling about that and you know there's also a deep soulful knowledge and knowing about it that you're also receiving through this card so let's see the next card that we're going to that's coming up this week um guiding us through guiding us on our path you know whether you're you know come here to learn a different way or you'll come to reconnect back to nature you know or maybe you're wanting to break through something that's been heavily weighing you down so you know it's you know this spiritual guidance that's you know helping you along your path during these troubled times so you know that is the um, goal of the dream time cards and the connect you know making the reconnection back to nature through the animals and the messages that we um, receive from them because everybody receives these messages differently and uniquely so presenting these cards to you gives you the opportunity to receive those messages in your own unique way so the next card that we pulled out is with Broga I am deserving and I love this card a lot and the message that the Brolga brings when I value myself and the beauty from within me it naturally draws the love and support to me that I deserve because sometimes we're not always feeling like we deserve um, certain things from people like help you know and sometimes we always think we 
um, you know, that we can do things on our own. You know, and that may be the case, but, you know, having um, people and letting people in to support you is a way that you can honour yourself. And bring more of what you're needing at this time with what you may be going through. So, my booklet is in pieces. <laughs> Just so. Yeah, so with the Brolga, it's giving us the message that you are coming more confident in your abilities. So take a moment to notice these thoughts or beliefs that are um, that are just holding you back and stopping you from seeing your true inner beauty that is destined for more. So, you know, it's like also with Dolphin that was telling us about being aware it's about having the confidence in those abilities that you have that connects you to nature and it's helping you to open up more to your inner nature so your true worth lies in noticing this now more than ever so try not to be so harsh on yourself and begin to recognize the true value of your soul um, Broga is teaching you about self-love and seeing yourself through the eyes of divine God and the dream time. So there may be an understanding you need to reach about yourself that will enable you to have more self-confidence in what you wish to achieve. Um, you know, like this is like such an awesome card. Like I know for me, um, when I first, it took me ages to come online and this is because of my appearance and you know people aren't expecting to see um, you know someone like me that is um, comes from an Aboriginal family to have fair skin so it took me a long time to come out um, on social media and so um, when I did, like, every year I get a lot of, um, was talking to someone, uh, rec um, someone was sharing this recently about me, about this to me, um, and I know this is not something that I share very often, but yeah, every year, um, I get negative, a lot of negative, negativity, from people um, to do with what I do um, so you know I don't let that stop me you know this is all about your true worth and what you're deserving in your life you know and not letting other people dictate what you should do and how you should do it or what you should look like because you know yes there is a lot of racism in Australia and, you know, unfortunately, I get a lot of that being online and what I do. So, you're, you're going to, your soul is going to thrive if you take the action to push yourself out of any disappearing mindset. So, you can begin to see yourself with more beauty. Try to understand more about the true source of your inner beauty that is very deep within you to uncover. Try to achieve something that brings this beauty out more in you and believe in yourself. Even if others um, feel a certain way about this, you know, this is um, about you, not about anybody else. So, you know, the negative could be there's judgment there, hate and helplessness. So the positive that Brolga helps us is to believe more, have more confidence, true worth. So, you know, these kinds of things are very underrated in everyday life. And so, 
you know, especially on social media and things like that, you know, it's just something that is like innate within all of us. So, you know, it's a very important quality to build on within ourselves. So these are the two cards that we pulled out this week and it's such a um, beautiful two cards to have this week, especially, you know, as we're approaching the first week of Christmas. And, you know, it gives us those nice feelings inside, you know, when we're becoming more aware of nature. So the two cards that we got this week is with Dolphin, um, helping us to be, become more aware and feeling that connection between earth and sky and understanding this more through any kind of learning, books, reading, workshops, you know, and, you know, also don't forget about the experiences that you have and encounter with the animals in nature when you go out and step outside within nature. And so the other cards, um, card that we pulled out is with Brolga, I am deserving, you know, letting us know to watch, um, you know, that we have some really wonderful abilities inside and that just to take a moment to notice any beliefs that are holding you back, um, you know, and stopping you from seeing your true inner beauty. And, you know, try to take some action this week in doing something that brings that out even more. Regardless of what anyone thinks or says about you, it's not about them, it's about you. And, you know, it's more important what you think about yourself than what anybody else thinks. So, you know, that is the very, you are number one and you're the most important in this. So, you know what you're um, doing in becoming more aware in, in yourself. So, I hope you have a wonderful week with these two and I'll see you again next week. Bye for now.